okay so in previous uh, lecture I demonstrated to you how we can calculate uh, electronic density of state for any material using ELK code we will see some other aspects of uh, electronic density of states uh, which can which has been calculated using ELK code so let me go to that same folder in uh, work directory the aluminium along with the this uh, uh, TDOS file total density of state file we have uh, uh, some more files uh, relevant to DOS we can visualize all those files using ls command star DOS star so what will this command do this command will actually uh, display all the files which contains these three letters in their name uh, so we have you know uh, some this is uh, uh, ignore this dos.odp this is some exercise which I was doing uh, oh, oh it is that uh, presentation file so apart from that the files which have been created by ELK is Fermi DOS <laughs> IDOS and PDOS and the TDOS which already we have discussed so what is this Fermi DOS let me tell you uh, one by one so basically this Fermi DOS is the value of electronic density of states at Fermi level and this uh, usually is called NEF means number of electronic states at Fermi level this number has some special significance for example the metals which have more number of uh, electronic states at Fermi level can be expected to be good conductors but uh, uh, there is no uh, only dependence on the value of electronic density of states but we can say is that the material have more number of states near Fermi level and since the states near Fermi level are responsible for conduction of uh, uh, electricity so yeah to some extent we can relate it to the conductivity uh, <clears throat> but yeah more rigorous theories are there for uh, doing conductivity calculations so this is not just a simple uh, direct proportionality but yes it has a dependence and direct dependence on number of states at Fermi level so that is why this number is exclusively or separately calculated and put into a different file or in a separate file by ELK code so this is Fermi uh, DOS means density of state at Fermi level and it is in states per Hartree per unit cell as the units in ELK code so you can convert it accordingly and then try to see if you go to Kittel chapter on uh, uh, this uh, uh, free electron gas there is a chapter in Kittel on um, free electron gas uh, root theory of uh, free electron gas so there you would find out that uh, this uh, number NEF is given a special significance uh, it also relates to electronic heat capacity at Fermi level so you you try to see all those things and then try to relate it uh, uh, those uh, properties with this number next uh, DOS which we have is IDOS I hope you could see this so what is this IDOS I would uh, show in my next slide for that I would roughly uh, I would quickly introduce you to what is muffin tin potential and there are some relevant terms so I skip it for now uh, for today's uh, demonstration I am actually trying to uh, talk about this PDOS partial density of states and uh, in many conventional uh, DFT calculations people report uh, this PDOS as well means uh, what is this PDOS uh, I hope uh, you remember what we discussed in the previous class that uh, the total density of state uh, or the electronic density of state is made up of uh, different uh, electronic orbitals right so when uh, atoms come together to form solids or the crystals their uh, valence states merge in such a way that they result into formation of bands so and and those bands are represented with the help of electronic density of state now 
in a particular band let me try to show it with that uh, small uh, diagram which I had plotted in the previous slide just to uh, make things uh, intuitive and visible so let me show you quickly yeah so it I mean the states in a band may be made up of multiple orbitals right for example a band may be containing aluminium P states aluminium S states right so this particular band for example may contain P or S or D states correct so at which energy how uh, which particular states are present or the total density of state at a particular energy value has contribution from various orbitals so that contribution is contained in this partial density of states so there are if you notice carefully this file contains four lines but but this will contain four lines when we have uh, you know in this elk dot in file this dos m sum when we have done it true then it will contain only four lines if we don't do this what will happen i will be uh, highlighting shortly but okay for now let us focus on this only oh i hope i closed this so let me plot p dos once again uh, is it there uh, yeah it is here so this is your partial so what are these four lines the first one is s character so we can call aluminium s states and uh, second is aluminium p they are in order x so you should uh, notice they are in a order then next is aluminium uh, d character and last one is aluminium <laughs> f uh, just for making things visible clear on screen i am just increasing the width of these lines yeah so we can see that partial density of states means the total density of states for aluminium is made up of aluminium s p d and f character but you can see practically this blue line is almost negligible so we can say there is no f states or the f character is negligible uh, and practically it should be zero close to zero and uh, then you have you know this black curve this is aluminium s states so they are showing this kind of variation so you can say from this that at fermi level we have a significant contribution from aluminium s states and aluminium p states the red color is uh, representing aluminium p states and some small contribution from aluminium d state f is negligible <laughs> So that is the information which we can extract from PDOS, partial density of states. Let me along with this plot that TDOS as well. Let us see how that compares with this. So I am just trying to bring in that TDOS in the same graph. So this we can do by calling this. This is your TDOS. Now you can see something very interesting. Let me just change the color of this one to say green for for example so that it becomes clearly visible now here is something important you should notice that total density of state is very high and this speed os is very less you know partial density of state so actually the total density of state should be sum of means the electronic states at particular energy value will either be coming from aluminium s states p states or d states isn't it so as a common sense we can expect that it the, the sum of all these uh, uh, contributions from aluminium uh, orbitals should be equal to t dos but here this things this thing seems to be different i mean in, in under any case these uh, you know the values of black red and uh, green curves at any point can't lead to their sum being equal to this t dos so what is missing so that is what we will be addressing 
in our uh, upcoming lecture in detail but uh, just as a quick answer to this is in the file which I was talking in the beginning called IDOS interstitial density of states so here is your interstitial density of states I hope you you are able to notice this this is your interstitial density of states I'm not marking it as such or even I can mark no problem IDOS and uh, it is your uh, T DOS total density of states <laughs> So if you now sum the values of IDOS and partial DOS from aluminium S, P, D and F characters at a particular value of energy, at any value of energy, their sum would be equal to T DOS. Means total states are equal to sum of aluminium S, aluminium P, aluminium D, aluminium F and interstitial DOS. Now what is this interstitial DOS? we are going to discuss in the next class so for now that's all uh, i hope this video is now uh, short enough so that one and someone can uh, do it in one go that's it for now thank you very much